Okay, so I got to this store. The call was for an end cap on a coffin island or bunker island, low temp. Um, it was at zero degrees, set the alarm off. So I got here, it was down to negative five. But I came up on the roof here and checked the rack. And uh, first thing I noticed, this compressor two is burning hot. Sometimes you can kind of feel on the low side of the head, it's screaming hot. It's likely passing through discharge into the crankcase. I mean, I couldn't even touch it. I just stepped up here and I felt the end bell. That was screaming hot too. The pressure was up around like 23 on the suction. It's a low temp rack. So if it's blowing through that much, it, it's not pumping at all, so I just valved it off. I took the cap off, ran the stem all the way in, clockwise. And I also set the discharge and the oil. But this isn't my store usually. The guy who store this is is sick. He's been out for a couple weeks now. I guess he's got to get tested or whatever the fuck. He definitely got oil problems. It's probably why it killed the compressor. And I was here with him. We changed the plates and it was working. But the piston rings and the pistons are just worn and they finally failed completely. So I turned that off, I valved everything off there, shut the oil inlet. Shut off the breaker. The control switch for two on the compressor output module. I flipped it off as well. And I went in the controller. Refrigeration. Controls. Compressor. Outputs. Compressor A2. I forced it off. That way the controller knows that it's off. And not run it. Um, so I'm going to order that compressor. It's a 06DR. It's going to be a fucking pain in the ass with this situation. so tight. But I looked in the Carlisle service manual. It's 190 pounds. I thought it'd be a little more than that. So I'm gonna have to get a compressor for this. And I remember this this tech was having problems on F rack. There's a deli island. Multi-deck. Well, this one you can't fucking see at all. controller for F8 Delhi Island where it was reading it where it was showing you the temperature now there's A B C D E coils putting together this island that figure was only reading one coil and even when you went in and you went to defrost termination input it was reading one of the smallest coils in the island now normally I would believe that it should be an average of every coil temp but I had talked with controls I emailed them they finally got back and they just 
told me what the program was, which I already was telling them and kind of asking them why it's not an average, but they seem to think that that's fine. So what I was able to get them to do for me is switch it from the smaller coil to the larger one in the island. So the defrost termination and the control reading that the controller is looking at will be for the larger coil rather than the smallest one in the island. And we'll see how that works. But all right, so I got to get that compressor. I mean, this, this store's got a lot of problems, but only so many hours in the day, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, take care. Maybe I'll try to get that uh, compressor change on a video. Um, if you guys want that, let me know. All right, take care.